Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The Pembroke Hall High School teacher caught on video threatening a student with violence is now on leave. JTA President Owen Speed said the teacher and the school administration decided it was best for her to go on leave while the investigation continues. A Clarendon man has been arrested after his 13-year-old daughter was shot and injured in the southern Clarendon community of Rhymesbury last night. The details surrounding the incident were not immediately available. However, it is understood that the girl was in bed when she was shot. Chief Technical Director of the Financial Investigations Division, FID Robin Sykes, will be leaving the agency come December 31 to take up a position at the International Monetary Fund. The Finance Ministry says he will be replaced by Deputy Police Commissioner Selvin Hay. A Jamaican living in Miami, Florida has shot and killed a would-be robber who attacked him while he was sleeping in his van off 71st Street. He told WSVN News he had to take swift action. I use common sense and quick reflect, get the AK out. And I emptied my Glock in his chest. In sports, Clarendon College coach Lenny Hyde says his team is undaunted going into Saturday's the Costa Cup final against Dintil Technical. On the weekend, Clarendon College lost the Champions Cup 1-0 to Kingston College. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $137.57, the British pound sterling for $178.12, and the Canadian dollar for $100.50. In your weather forecast, on Tuesday morning, there will be generally fair conditions with isolated showers over eastern parishes. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers over western parishes and partly cloudy skies elsewhere. And that's it for the Green Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.